Hello and welcome to Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Welcome to your Week Ahead Terrascopes with me, Intuitive Renee. We are doing the week of the 24th to the 30th of April 2023. And this week I am choosing an Oracle deck, working with an Oracle deck and my homemade tarot tiles. These are miniature tarot cards that I have placed in resin um, and they are just so much fun to, to work with and I haven't actually used them for quite a while. So I'm going to push them just there for a second because I do want to start with the Oracle and the Oracle deck that I'm working with this week is the Enchanted Map Oracle by Colette Baron reed One of my favorites, especially now that she's just this is a, a remake or a, a newer version of her original enchanted map oracle which is just gorgeous so let's get started looking at air signs being gemini libra and aquarius we're looking at the week of the 24th to the 30th of april 2023 what is the theme because that's what i want from this um, oracle deck is i want the theme or the main energy of the week ahead and then we're going to drop some tarot onto it to see what is the message around the theme so we're asking spirit to draw near and to guide the reading today to make sure that the message that comes out is relevant and appropriate for cancer uh, sorry for gemini libra and aquarius where am i going with cancer cancer's next so we're looking for a single card to give an inspirational guided message for the week ahead what can you expect where do you need to focus where does your energy need to be Cards are cut and I'm taking one off the top. Let's put these aside and let's have a look and see air signs. What is the theme for this week for you? We have got card number 28 and it is movement. So this is an interesting kind of card as far as the artwork goes because here we have very clearly a um, ostrich. If you're in South Africa, you're familiar with ostriches. But this particular ostrich is, I mean, we have a hot air balloon. We've got some clouds. We've got some earth on top of the mountain. They look like they're right at the top of the mountain. We've also got a shift from barren to lush, from dry to moist. Okay. So, and you can see that the, the, the ostrich is moving forward. Now, on the ostrich's back and on the ostrich's head, so here we have a whole little kind of, I don't know, I'm going to call it an island. <laughs> we have got a windmill. We have got some water flowing. It's like a whole other little universe on the back of the ostrich. And I don't know if you can see what's on the ostrich's head, but there is a tiny little snail. And, you know, snails carry their own houses as well. So <laughs> the artwork is just fabulous on this particular deck. Movement is basically saying that this is going to be a week of progress, a week of movement, moving from the dry and the barren and moving closer to the moist and the lush. So interesting, good week for you. Um, we're going to see what message the tarot wants to contribute because it may tell us where, what, who, how and why um, the movement or the, the progress needs to or is going to take place. So let's get the tarot going. I'm going to, to move these around a little bit. It can be a little bit loud. Sometimes my camera mutes the sound. Sometimes it's clever and other times it's not so clever. So just bear with me. I'm going to give it a little bit of a shuffle. Um, and once I've got the little bit of a shuffle going, I'm going to just drop a couple onto the table and then we will interpret and read them as necessary. So let's go. A little bit of a shuffle, just smushing them around a little bit. Let's grab in just a few and let's see what we've got. All right, so Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. There are three cards that you can see that have landed on the card here. But there is one over there. I'm just pulling it straight down without changing it. And there is even another one further, further away. It's actually landed on my computer keyboard. So I'm just going to bring it. I'm not adjusting it at all. And I'm just going to place it over there. I'm going to put it behind the writing and I'm going to bring that one a bit closer because the way that I interpret these tarot tiles, if they land face up, I read them first because they're saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm important and I'm significant. The ones that have landed face down are less important and they're saying, look at me, lost. My next thing that I do is I read those that are touching the object in question first so and then um i read the ones that are further away so the way that we're going to read this is this is our card one this is going to be card two card three card four and card five so one two three four five and 
just it, it's interesting that uh, this week I'm noticing the patterns. Um, so remember I said to you that on our ostrich's face, uh, on his head, there was a little snail. If you think about the snail shell, isn't it a, a spiral? Doesn't it like make a spiral? And look what we're doing here. We're going here, we're going up, we're going around. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're doing that same spiral. So clearly, and what is a spiral? A spiral is movement, isn't it? You know, if you think about a spiral, you're going, you're either going into the middle or you're going out. So it's about movement. It's about change. It's about progress. So very interesting how everything is tying together. So let's start with our first, um, yeah, let's start with our first card and see what message it brings. So the first card we have is the King of Wands. So these these uh, tarot are like really, really tiny. I mean, if you look in comparison to the size of my thumb, they are tiny, tiny, tiny. So the King of Wands is about being in control. Um, it was on his face. About being in control of your actions, in control of your movements, in control of your physical, okay? And because King is control and Wands is action, it's movement, it's adventure. So it's, and, and the fact that it's landed on the ostrich's face, again, it's about the mind. I'm bringing that into it as well. So it's Spirit saying to you that for this week, you've got to be very much aware of your physical movements and your physical actions. You've got to make sure that you're very conscious about what you're doing, when you're doing it, and how you're doing it. And you've got to make sure that everything is very uh, a conscious is, is the word that I have to use, that all your actions, that the steps that you take, the things that you do are very much relevant and appropriate. So that's what the King of Wands is bringing through. Now, the second card that we have to read, and it's actually quite fabulous because it's the Queen of Wands. Look here. She is the Queen of Wands. So we have got the, 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 the marital pair, if I can put it that, the King and the Queen. So the king and the queen, if you think about old medieval days, when we had a king and a queen, the two of them together, they they looked after the community. They looked after their kingdom. They ruled the kingdom, but they had very different functions. The king was very much about the the, the taxes and the structure and the rules and the, you know, the, the army and the wars and the stuff that needed to be done. What was the queen responsible for? She was responsible for the education and for the children. Because she was about the that side of things. Now, I also believe that the queens in the old days were very, very manipulative because they thought they often had their own agendas as to what they wanted to do and achieve within the kingdom. And the queen would often go and whisper sweet nothings in the king's ear and then say to him, it would make me so happy if so-and-so happened and this and that. And he would often do it just to make her happy. And she was like blinking, you know, fluttering eyelids and so forth, but actually getting what she wanted. So interesting kind of combination that these two are coming through. And it's showing you, air signs, that this week, your actions, your behaviors, your movements have to be very, very well thought out, planned out, strategized and executed. OK, so if you're watching this video early in the week, before this week has started or like really early in the week, I really want to encourage you to stop grab pen and paper and do a little bit of a strat session with yourself as to what it is you want to achieve this week, what is important, what is significant, and the steps that you're going to take to achieve it. Because movement is key, okay? Movement is key. Control, manipulation, nurturing, taking care of, having a plan, having a structure, having all of that is super, super paramount important. So now we're going to look at the next three, which are, as I say, slightly less significant, slightly less important, but still have a message. And starting off with this one over here, the card that we have there is the gorgeous, the fabulous, the wonderful Magician card. And the Magician card is basically saying to you that you can do this, that you actually have the ability to do whatever it is you want to do. All right. So if you have a plan on what it is you want to do, how you're going to do it this week, you have everything that you need in order to do it, in order to follow through with it. The next card that we have, oh, you see, look at this. We have the sun card. And in tarot, the sun is the card of happiness, of joy, of success, of abundance, of everything working out. But it's also the message that's coming through from, from these four so far around movement, around shifting from a life of, of less to a life of more, is about understanding that success is going to happen if your actions, your movement, your behaviors is appropriate and valid. That's where you will have success. 
okay so but we do need to have a plan we do need to have some kind of a system to follow or some kind of a system to work through otherwise we're setting ourselves up for disappointment and now let's look at our last tarot and it is the three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is basically a confirmation for you because what it's saying to you here, Air Signs, is the Three of Wands is basically saying to you that you this is not a brand new thing. This movement, this progress, this evolution that you're going through, it's not something that you're going to think about this week, execute this week, and end this week, okay? It is something that you've actually been doing for a while, but it's this week that we need to get back into track. This week, we need to check ourselves and say, right, how are we doing on that goal? How are we doing on that project or on that scenario? Bring ourselves back, understand the plan, understand the strategy. Plan and strategy, very, very important. Understand that you have everything that you need to achieve what you require. There is going to be success, but you do have to just stop and check yourself from time to time. But understand that this week, there is good energy to shift to make progress to move forward but you have to drive it you have to be the one understanding the move that needs to take place and take everything with you because that's what our little ostrich and our little snail has done they're taking everything with them but understanding that sometimes you have to be that logical thinker and sometimes you have to be a little bit more nurturing and or manipulative in order to achieve the outcomes that you require so interesting week for you, Air Science. It looks fabulous. It looks wonderful. It looks like you're going to make good progress as long as you are driving the engine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there with you. Lots of love and blessings. I do hope you have a fabulous week. And until we connect again, take care.